Hi, Rich Spazano here from Digitally Fearless. And today, I thought it would be interesting to do a different kind of outer glow that has multicolor in it rather than the standard F effects because it doesn't really, the standard effects only shows one color and I'm not really crazy about it. And also I thought I'd do some texture and some lighting. Here's the version I did in desktop. If you want to see how I did this, then just go to YouTube and look at my desktop version. And this is what we plan on ending up with here in the iPad version. So let's get started. So what I did, what I have here is I just cut out a Sprite bottle, that's all, and I put a background on it. I didn't want to do masking or anything for this tutorial. I, I've done so many of those in the past. So let's talk about this one. First, if you go to the Sprite bottle, which is a pixel layer, and I go to Effects, if I wanted to do Outer Glow, I would turn that on, and I, I chose a color from before, but it would normally come out white, and you just, you can drag that up or down. That's the opacity, and you can drag this wider, and you can change the color like I did with the green. That's not bad either, but that's all. I mean, it really doesn't do much else. So I wasn't crazy about it. So I am going to get rid of that. Let's get rid of that outer glow. And let's go back to the pixel layer. And I thought this would be an interesting way to do it. The first thing I'm doing is I'm going to, with that pixel layer selected, I'm going to press down with my finger and let go and hit duplicate. And now I have two versions of it. I am going to hide the top version. And with the bottom version selected now, I am going to, ask, while that's selected, I'm going to go up to the selection box up on top and do select from layer, selection from layer. And now it's selecting that. And what I plan on doing now out of that is I'm going to go to the gradient tool right here and I'm going to go from top to bottom just like that. And now what I can do is change the colors. So if I touch the white, for example, I can touch the color on the right and pick a color. And I think maybe I would do maybe in the purplish color. I think I'll pick a purplish, something like that. And then if I touch the bottom one, I, instead of black, I think I can go to a green somewhere like that. And maybe even, let's add one in the middle. I'm gonna tap the middle. And let's say we put a blue in the middle like that. And I kind of think that looks pretty good. So I'm going to leave it like that. I think I like that. And now I'm going to go back to my move tool. And then I'm gonna press down and let go and deselect. I'm gonna hit deselect. And that's what we have, which is great. So now let's go back to that layer on that layer, I'm going to go to Live Filters, and that's this one right here. And I have to select Add Live Filter, and I'm going to look for Gaussian Blur. Now, I can go down the whole list. What's right here, actually. Or I could have just gone like this and kept clicking until I got to Blurs, and then click Gaussian Blur. And what I want to do is bring that one way up like that. I think pretty good like that and then turn on the layer above it. And now we have a little bit of glow in the back. Now the nice part about this is I can take that background, that back one, and spread it out to whatever amount I want. I can also duplicate it if I want to make it more powerful than what it was, but I don't think I'm going to duplicate it. I think I'm going to do something to this effect. I can even warp it if I want it to be a special shape. But I think I like that like that. Let me play a little bit more. So now I'm going to go to Live Filters one more time. And I'm going to go to Lighting. Let's go Colors, Noise, Sharpen, Distort, Blur, all filters. So I guess I have to go down and find Lighting. Here it is, Lighting. And I'm going to shrink this down a little bit. I'm going to bring my lighting around here. The main thing I thought would be fun and interesting is texture. So. You can see right here, there's a dot like down here. You see the dot next to the things right there? I'm going to click on that, and there's opacity, and click it again, and it's shininess. If I click this, it's texture and spe specular. So I'm going to go to texture, and I want to bring up the texture, maybe all the way. 
And I thought that was interesting, but I really want that texture on top of everything, not, not just the bottle. And I kind of like the way it's looking, so now the texture is also on that background. And if I wanted to, I could take that still and the background, and I could maybe either duplicate it or maybe even expand it more. Let's pull this out a little bit more and give it, let the texture take over there. The texture gives it almost an icy look, which I kind of like. I'm going to go back here to the texture one, which was texture. I think it was this one. Yeah, I could lower it a little. And it doesn't look like it's cold. I think it's kind of cold. It gives it that cold, icy look. Something else you could try is duplicating that. I have it selected, press down, and hit duplicate. And this time, bring it to the front of the bottle. And it's covering it up completely, and we definitely don't want that. But we can change its blend mode. So what we could do maybe is go to color, if I can find color, because they're not in alphabetical order and they don't have an ending. There it is, so color. So we can go to color, and then after the color, let's go back, and we could change the opacity on that, actually. Let's try that. We'll change the opacity down. And why did I lose the background? Is, oh, I have the background turned off. There you go. So if we have now, if we add the color to the front of it, again, I can change the opacity. I can turn it completely off, which leaves just the colors. But don't, it, I think it's kind of nice to add some of the color that's the glow in the background to the front. I think it gives it a nice effect, it, almost like an all-around glow effect. I'm playing right now, and I love to play, and I think you should all play too. So I hope you liked this tutorial, and, and don't forget to look at the desktop version when you have a chance, because it came out completely different. And if you like it, please click like and subscribe, and have a great day. Thanks so much. Bye.